Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Yankees, and holy crap, this is a, a video that I got for you guys um, not so long ago, but it's been a while since I put up a video, so I said, you know what? Let me just get this video out. Um, somebody actually messaged me on Facebook, said, yo, can you put up a video, son? What's going on? Why are you being lazy? Uh, I've not been lazy. I've just been pretty busy, and um, I've honestly felt like I don't have new content to bring to you guys. Now, I don't mean that in like... In like, like videos recorded, because I have tons of videos recorded. Now, some of the games are games that I don't get views for, like Modern Warfare 3. I got some Battlefield, but Battlefield, is, the Battlefield that I have is pretty old. Um, I know there's a lot of new things out as far as Battlefield. They got the premium. Um, they got new guns. They got a whole bunch of new things that I haven't been able to bring you guys uh, because I haven't got premium. So, you know, I'm really running low on. Um, new content and i know some some youtubers wouldn't say that and they'd be like you should never tell your your subscribers that you don't have content for them um i do have content but i don't have uh newer 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 stuff and i don't care i'm real um if you don't like it then you don't like it um if you um stick around then you appreciate my honesty and uh instead of just wondering why the hell don't you put up videos you bastard um i mean if you guys want to see you know what I have then I'll bring it off for you guys uh, but I warn you I have been had nothing new and I've been looking for new things to play um, I was looking at the Ghost Recon I didn't really it, it's not a game that I see that I don't know that I can I can invest a lot of time in um, I haven't I played the beta I like the beta but I just felt like it would get uh, old quickly like um, was it uh, Resident Evil um, Raccoon City. I bought that game. I spent the money on it, and um, I really got bored of it. I played it for like the first two weeks, and I didn't, you know, really enjoy it all that much. And Ghost Recon, uh, from the beta, the the um, the servers were down, and they had a lot of technical issues. And I heard the first week of the game, I think the first two days or whatnot, or after the game came out, they had some problems with servers. So. There were a few problems that I wasn't that I wasn't feeling too much, so I really didn't get into the game. Um, and then when I thought about, you know what, I should pick it up. It was kind of too late, and I didn't feel like, you know, struggling to get back and uh, understand the game and whatnot and bring you guys half ass shit. And uh, if you guys know me by now, um, if you guys have me on Facebook, then you know that I'm the type of person that doesn't like to do something if I'm not going to put 100% into it. And I felt like I wasn't going to be able to put 100% into it and give you guys a fair view of the game. So I said, you know what, I'm not going to do it. Uh, so hopefully I'm praying for something that's going to come out and something that I can really bring you guys on a full-time basis. Um, I've been going to the gym and I've been doing my own thing personal-wise, but, you know, I still haven't found anything that's that's motivating me to be like, fuck, you know what? I want to do this um, full-time. I want to bring you guys this game full-time. You know, and I want to switch it up. You know, first-person shooters are fun, um, but I want to look for something else, something that... You know, it's a multiplayer, but it's going to be a little more interesting. There's a lot of games that are coming out. Um, I know God of War is coming out. They have a multiplayer. Uh, so there's a few other things that are coming out that I hope to bring you guys. Um, and really quick, touching the topic of uh, Xbox. I had my Xbox. I had a badass Xbox. Uh, but I had some personal issues, and I had to get rid of it. Fucking unfortunate. Um, and I don't have an Xbox right now. But hopefully... Um, when is it? Hopefully by the end of the summer I'll be able to get another Xbox, and uh, so I can get some games for you guys. So uh, hopefully I'm still thinking about it. I still got it in the back of my mind. Should I pick one up? Should I not pick one up? Should I pick it up? Should I not pick it up? Am I gonna invest the time? Am I gonna have people play with? Um, there's a lot of factors that I have to factor in. So I'm still thinking about it. But um, as of right now I don't have um, an Xbox. A few people message me, get on Xbox, but I can't because I don't got one. Um, I wish I could, but I don't got an Xbox to get on. So uh, that's not gonna happen. And, uh, yeah, so this gameplay was, um, pretty badass, actually. We're playing, uh, Kill Confirmed, um, and for some reason in Kill Confirmed, you shouldn't get this many kills. Uh, but I happened to get this many kills. And the reason was because my team was kind of, um, yes, yeah, so we were kind of kill whoring, unfortunately. Uh, but we kept, you know, our, um, our minds and our vision on the score. So just in case it got out of hand, it wasn't like the other team was going to win. So we had a decent score. So when you get into a score like this and you're playing with six other people, then it really doesn't, um, the score really doesn't play a factor because obviously you guys are going to win. See what I'm saying? So, you know, you don't have to worry about it too much, but, you know, you always keep your eye on it because if it does get out of control, you guys need to really, you know, bucker down and get the win because the win is the most important part of the game. Um, and, 
yeah, lately I've been playing, um, I haven't played much of anything, but have to get into some gaming. Actually, this morning I got into some Black Ops for a little bit, and Black Ops is fun, man. Like, that was a game that I really dominated in, and I put up a few gameplays, but if you guys have me on friends of this, then you guys know um, my stats on Battlefield, on Battlefield, on Black Ops. I kind of really invested so much time in that game. Like, I, inv I invested lots of days. I broke a lot of nights just playing that game and getting very, very good at that game. I actually played um, uh, game battles in that game, so I really, really... You know, not to sound cocky, but I kind of really dominated that game. Um, well, we kind of dominated that game because that game I never played without um, my uh, my teammates. So, you know, that was always in a full party and we barely lost in that game. I know I have a win streak of 153, which is pretty funny because um, uh, my win streak in Modern Warfare 3 is also 153. And I kind of didn't do that on purpose. That was that just happened, and it just happened to be the same exact win streak that I got in Black Ops, which is pretty funny. Um, I know a few people that have ridiculous win streaks that are pretty legit, um, but it just it's just out of hand. I got a guy, my friend, that has like a like a 300 game win streak, which is fucking retarded. You know, I don't know how you. I mean, well, obviously you're probably playing a, in a with a team all day, but I don't know what you know game mode you play that you're consistently winning. It's probably like a a game that ends quick. Um, What's a good game that ends quick? I think um, Team Defender pretty ends pretty quick when you got a full team. Your your team's pretty good. Uh, there's something else. It's not um registering right now, but there are a few games that end pretty quick. Um, if your team is organized and you know you don't really need that many that many uh, struggles like this, like you'll confirm like you gotta get kills and you gotta go pick up the tags and whatnot. It can get out of hand. You know, but games that end quick, you know, that's how you build your kill streaks. I forgot what game we used to play on Black Ops that we used to always get, you know, major uh, win streaks. Um, it might have been. Might have been Capture the Flag. Because we had the only team for Capture the Flag. We used to play Capture the Flag a lot in Black Ops. And we used to get on some ill win streaks. We were just unbeatable. Because I was uh, camping the flag like a boss. And I used to get these only big kill streaks when you were camping the flag. And. In Black Ops and camping in Black Ops is just so much easier, dude. It's just unfair. Today I was playing, um, like I said, I was playing Black Ops and I was playing with Steez, and uh, I was just getting some ridiculous kill streaks. And I honestly moved from, I actually stayed in an area the whole game, and it was, and the area was like maybe a ten foot, a uh, ten, ten square foot area, or a twenty foot square area. It was just. It was just impossible for them to even remove me from the area. And I was building kill streak after kill streak after kill streak, and a lot of people hated that about Black Ops. And I don't know if that's gonna be Black Ops too, um, but to me it was fun. I got a shitload of kills, and I was just destroying people. And uh, I didn't use ghosts, so you know I think I was pretty good at that game. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I hope it wasn't too draggy, draggy. Um, and yeah, this is a long, oh, this is a commentary, long way to do commentary for a while from your boy Yankees. So uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'm out. Peace! My final score was uh, 57 and 6. What a boost. <laughs> Peace.